Frosty. Frosty Michael Kelly. Thank you, Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. Around the holiday time in our office, we love to decorate. And one of our favorite things is Frosty. The staff would get Frosty out, put him on a file cabinet in the middle of our office area, plug him in, he immediately lights up the room. Well, at the end of the holiday season, we put all the decorations away. Well, a year ago, we were going through downsizing. We are laying people off. We reduced our, files, our cabinet space as well as our footprint. There wasn't room for Frosty. Someone realized there was a cubicle next to mine that was empty. So they placed Frosty on the floor in the cubicle next to mine. He looked like a little punished kid standing in the corner. I was so sad to see that. I had to do something about it. I had an idea. I will go find an empty chair. So I went to the office, found one. I put it in the office. I picked the life-size Frosty, put him in the chair, set him at the desk. I could have sworn I saw a smile on his face. <laughs> About a week later, I go by his cubicle. There's a workstation in front of Frosty. <laughs> now he had an office, a chair, a desk, a workstation. The phone was already there. Frosty was open for business. <laughs> well, about a week later, I went to the last going away luncheon. And I told him the story that Frosty was open for business. People chuckled. And at the luncheon, there was Glenn, the facility manager. I said, Glenn, could you get a little nameplate put outside Frosty's cubicle? He said, I will look into it. Well, the next day when I came to work, there was brand new, shiny nameplate, Frosty, outside his cubicle. I could have sworn Frosty winked at me. Time went by, another week or two, I'm in my cubicle. The phone rings in Frosty's cubicle. <laughs> I know it wasn't the Los Angeles Times because we told them repeatedly we are an office. We don't subscribe to the LA Times. <laughs> well, I immediately ran down to Glenn. Glenn, the facility manager, we got to put Frosty in the phone directory. I don't want to miss any important phone calls. Business is booming. He shook his head. He said, you know, nobody uses the phone directory anymore. I was disappointed. I didn't want to tell Frosty the news, so I thought of something else. I remembered a joke I'd heard over the holiday. I said, that'll cheer him up. It goes like this. A man was in the grocery store. He was in the produce section. All the vegetables and everything were spread out on the counters and everything. There was Frosty in front of the carrot section, picking his nose. Oh, man. <laughs> but when I went to tell the story of Frosty, he didn't laugh. I was so disappointed. I got to thinking about Frosty. When I come to work, most days, he's already there. When I leave for the day, he's there. I swear he pulled some all-nighters. He's put in more hours than some of the employees in my office. That got me thinking. I'm going to call the Human Resources Department. So I went to my office, picked up the phone, and I talked to the lady in HR, and I said, Frosty's here when I get to work. He's pulling in some all-nighters. He deserves a raise. Well, I got the standard HR answer. I will look into it. Oh. I put the phone down. Frosty looked over the cubicle wall and said, thanks, Mike. <laughs> That's the story of my coworker, Frosty Schwarzenegger. Oh.